Good evening, everyone. This is Bill Breeden. Thank you for joining me for Constellation Tour number 82. We are now in the South Celestial Polar Region surrounding the pole itself. So uh, tonight's Constellation to Canna is visible all year from locations south of the equator. So we've got Stellarium here set up for Buenos Aires from a moderately light polluted location. And we're going to take a look at Tucana, the Toucan. Um, best viewed all year from southern locations since it is uh, circumpolar around the South Celestial Pole. So we have our software set up for February the 2nd, 2022 at about 9 p.m. So how do we go about finding Tucana? Tucana is known for being the home of the small Magellanic Cloud. So if you find the Magellanic Cloud, the small one, you've basically found Tucana. Now from a moderately light polluted location, that might be a little difficult. So Let's see if there's any other ways to get in the neighborhood of Tucana, the Toucan. We're looking south. And let's start by looking for the Southern Cross. And that's right here. And in February, it's kind of, it's sort of upside down. So the top of the cross is here and here's the bottom of it. And we are going to point in this general direction right here. And then again, we're going to find Alpha and Beta Centauri. And we're going to bisect them with a perpendicular line. And we're going to follow that line in the same direction. So where there's two, where those two imaginary lines meet, which is about here, that gets you in the close vicinity of the South Celestial Pole. So the Southern, the Southern Polar uh, Constellations all turn around this location in the sky and Tucana is among those constellations. So let's go about finding Tucana. So now that we know about where the South Celestial Pole is, let's look over here a little bit to the west and see if we can find bright star Akernar. And that would be right here. Akernar is also known as Alpha Eridani being the alpha star of the constellation Eridanus the river. So looking in the general direction of the South Celestial Pole, we found it by pointing from the Southern Cross. So if we keep going with that imaginary line, and we keep going past the South Celestial Pole, about half the same distance again, and stop in this general location just below Akronar. Akronar is right here the star Akronar. We drop down just a little bit and we are here in the region of Tucana, the Toucan. It's pretty faint. Um, you can look for this star here, this star here, and these two stars here. And they are all part of Tucana, the Toucan. So let's draw our constellation lines. And now we can see the Southern Cross here, Crux. And we can see Alpha and Beta Centauri. And we can draw our two lines here that take us to the South Celestial Pole region, which uh, contains the constellation uh, Octans. And if we keep going with those lines, we end up over here in the region of Tucana, the Toucan. So that's, that's one way you can go about finding it. And being a South Celestial Polar Constellation, it is going to turn as the hours go by. It's going to get lower and lower over here. And then it's going to come back up over here. And it's just going to circle around octans like that. So depending on the time of year and time of night, um, it will vary in its position in the southern sky. Although it will always be in the southern sky and it will be opposite of Crux and Centaurus. OK, 
Okay, let's look at the mythical figures. And here you can see Tucana is represented by a uh, toucan, which is a type of bird. And it looks like it has um, maybe an olive branch in its beak or some sort of some sort of branch. And the alpha star looks like the berry of the branch, alpha tucani. Okay, well, so that's that's sort of uh, one way you can find Tucana. Let's let's see how easy it is to find from a dark location. So let's make it dark. Okay, and now we're looking at the southern sky from a southern location and from a dark site. So here we have Crux here, the Southern Cross. We have Alpha and Beta Centauri. We draw a line from them, find the South Celestial Pole, and keep going until we just get just beneath Akronar. And this region here should be Tucana. And let's see what we have here. We have Alpha Tucani. We have Gamma Tucani, Zeta Tucani, and Beta Tucani. And Beta Tucani is a multiple star system. So why don't we have a look at that through the finder. And you can see that, that Beta Tucani splits really nicely here. We have Beta 1 and we have this uh, HIP star, but it does... It does split nicely, and I'm sure that it splits again because um, Stellarium showing it with a separation of just under a quarter of an arc second. So I have no doubt that this one splits again. And there we go. That one should split nicely in a medium power eyepiece. So simulating a view through a 9 millimeter Delight eyepiece, you can just see that Stellarium is starting to show its split here. Beta Tucani is 135 light years from Earth, the shining at magnitude 4.3. That's a nice one. So this other star that's right next to Beta Tucani looks like it's listed here as an HIP star, but I, I'm, I bet you that there's a beta 2. I wonder if you have to split it more to... not really sure how they're depicting this. Now they're showing both of those as beta 1. A little bit of that's an HIP, so is that. I'm not sure where beta 2 would be, or if it's just cataloged. It seems like this should be beta 2. It's got an H, an SAO number as well 149 light years from Earth. So that, that's Beta Tucani. Really, that would really make a nice target. Okay, let's return to Naked Eye View. And let's see if we can find the Magellanic Clouds. It's another way you can find Tucana if you're at a dark site. Here's the Southern Cross. Here's Alpha and Beta Centauri. Draw a line to the South Celestial Pole and keep going until we're underneath Akronar. So here's Tucana. So here's here's a little uh, smudge here. I'm I figure this is the small Magellanic Cloud. Here's another bigger one. So this must be the large Magellanic Cloud. So let's let's point our finder scope at the small Magellanic Cloud.
Okay, and with about a six um, degree true field of view through our finder scope or through binoculars, the small Magellanic Cloud makes a wonderful target. This is one of the satellite galaxies of our own Milky Way galaxy. And you can get a, you can get a really good idea of what satellite galaxies are like when you observe the Andromeda galaxy, M31, and you see the small galaxies, M32 and M110, just flanking the Andromeda galaxy. The small and large Magellanic clouds are the same, are sort of the, the same thing for the Milky Way. They're sort of our satellite galaxies. The small Magellanic cloud is also cataloged as NGC 292, shining at magnitude 2.2. And if you if you look at it through an eyepiece, you're, you're going to see such a small amount of it that you really end up panning around to be able to, uh, to take it all in. What you'll be looking for are objects that are contained within the small Magellanic Cloud at that point. And you can see here just above it is the, uh, the large Magellanic Cloud, which is contained uh, within the constellation Mensa, the Table Mountains. So that's just over here. Okay. Um, there's another double star within Tucana, and that's Kappa Tucani. So let's do a search for that. Okay, and here's Akernar, and here's the small Magellanic Cloud. So here's here's Kappa Tucani, shining at magnitude 7.7. .7. And here's a view of it through a finder scope or a pair of binoculars. It's located 66 light years from Earth. So it's only about a third of the distance to Beta Tucani. So it's much closer to us. And here's a view of it through a 24 millimeter panoptic eyepiece, a 19 millimeter, a 13 millimeter Nagler, and finally, a nine millimeter delight. And you can just see it's just starting to split here and you get another star here in the same field. Let's see if we can split it manually. There we go. Yeah, that looks like a nice one with some color contrast. That would make a really nice target. Kappa Tucani. Okay, let's return to a naked eye view here. And you can see the large and small Magellanic clouds. You can see Akronar here at the end of Eridanus the River. And you can see the area of Tucana right around in here. Let's see what part of the sky Tucana occupies. So it's this section right here contains the constellation Tucana. Here's the South Celestial Pole here within Octans. And you can see all of these, all of these circumpolar constellations here will revolve around Octans as the night progresses and as the months march by. Well, we can simulate that here to a certain extent. You can, you can see I'm running time here a little faster so you can see the rotation of these constellations. You can see they're rotating clockwise around the South Celestial Pole. Now that's opposite what we're used to up here in the Northern Hemisphere where constellations rotate counterclockwise around the Little Dipper. And the opposite happens when you're in the Southern Hemisphere. You can actually see the motion of the sky here with me running time faster. So I'm going to stop it here at around 10 o'clock and just run it at normal speed again. And I've got a couple of deep sky objects that are interesting to view within Tucana. 
um, other than the small Magellanic Cloud. The first one is NGC 104. So let's uh, fire up our go-to here. And NGC uh, 104 is also Caldwell 106, also known as 47 Toucani. This is a globular star cluster shining at magnitude 4. And you can see it's just below the, south, the, the small Magellanic Cloud. This is located um, 4.6 kiloparsecs, so that would be 15,300 light years from Earth, just about where you would expect to find globular clusters. They're usually five-figure light years from Earth, and this one's 15,000 light years away, so that figure's right. Let's put a little bit less power on it. Let's use a 24 millimeter wide angle panoptic eyepiece, giving us a 68 degree apparent field of view um, or a true field of view of just under one degree. This is a spectacular globular cluster, 47 Toucani. Never seen it in real life. I've never been in the Southern Hemisphere, so this will have to do. Okay, I've got another deep sky object here within Tucana, the Toucan, and that is NGC 362. This is another globular cluster. And this one is also cataloged as um, Caldwell 104 or Malat 4, shining at 6 magnitude. This is another globular cluster. And this one is again near the small Magellanic Cloud. So here's our view through a finder scope or binoculars. It's going to be a nice globular. Let's take a look at that through an eyepiece. Through a 24 millimeter panoptic eyepiece. Spectacular. It's located 27,000 light years from Earth. Okay, well, folks, this concludes my tour of Toucan of the Toucan. Thank you for joining me. Good night and good seeing.